Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Off The Grapevine, the show where we take a look over on everyone's favourite app, TikTok, and revisit some of our favourite vines. My name's Tobias and I'm one of your hosts for tonight's show of Off The Grapevine. You might have seen me while scrolling on your For You page. Now, we've got a jam-packed show for you tonight and I've heard through the grapevine that my hilarious co-host Anna has the scoop on exactly what you can expect in today's episode. Anna? Thank you, Tobias. I'm Anna and I'll be hosting alongside Tobias for tonight. You may have not seen me on your For You page, but here I am on TV. So who's the real winner? On tonight's episode of Of The Grapevine, you can expect to see this week's TikTok challenge, Imitate That Cake, as well as finding out what you guys got up to after setting the jump scare challenge. Then finally, a very special interview with TikToker Joshua Stewart. Here's a quick preview. Another one. Another one. Do you want another one? I love that video. There's a great show ahead of us tonight, but right now it's time for the part one of Imitate That Cake. Ooh. The competition will see two contestants battle it out in a test of desire, determination, and decoration. Yes, I guess you could say that with all the content we've got coming up for you on tonight's show, this competition is just the icing on the cake but let's find out who's competing today so my name is samantha i'm 20 years old from liverpool have you ever had any previous experience baking or decorating cakes so yesterday we did actually attempt to make a packet mix but unfortunately it failed as always so no i wouldn't say i have to be honest how are you feeling about today's challenge? So my nan is actually a cook, so I should say confident, but then again, no, to be honest with you. I can't bake, I'm not gonna lie. I'll try my best to decorate, but it's probably not looking like a complete and perfect mess. <laughs> uh, what do you think of your contestant? Do you think you'll beat him? With my contestant, I feel like I will beat him because he does make burgers, but then again, he doesn't make him Gordon Ramsay. So we will see if that actually is an advantage within the competition or not. Hi, my name's Phoenix, I'm 21 and I'm from Grimsby. Have you ever had any previous experience baking or decorating cakes? I mean, the best I've done is slap the icing on top of it and hope for the best, so let's see how this goes. What do you think of your contestant? Do you think you'll beat them? Well, I've seen her cook and I've seen her bake and to be fair, you know, you only can get salmonella so many times without trusting them, so I think I'll do alright. So what I'd like you to do now is to open your contestant envelopes and have a little look at what you're in store for. You have precisely 10 minutes to make your cake look as similar to the reference photo as possible. Quite simply, the winner is the one with the best cake. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. If you can now have a look together oh. at your reference photos and tell us what you think. This is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're gonna do? I can't ice a cake. Now, I think that's not a bad start. Anna, how do you think you would get on in the challenge? I don't know, it's a bit hit and miss when it comes to cakes with me. What about you? Well, actually I did, uh, I did have a go and here's one I made earlier. Uh, really? Beautiful. Um, well, I think this, this box would say otherwise. Um, ooh. Anyway, uh, make sure you're getting involved by using the hashtag do it for the vine. Do it for the vine. Vine was discontinued in October 2016 and we were without random funny videos until TikTok became popular in 2017 and then hit the stratosphere in the 2020 lockdown. Yes, TikTok now has two billion downloads and 689 million users worldwide. One of which is a very, very popular UK creator, Joshua Stewart. Hi Joshua, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. So, uh, if you could just tell us uh, a little bit about yourself and um, uh, your videos on TikTok. Yes, yeah, so I do uh, uni videos. Um, a lot of them are based around my days at life, like my day at life as a uni student. Um, I also do videos about uh, freshers' advice, uh, things to do in Manchester. Uh, yeah, basically just anything to do with university. Braille, braille, nice. Nice. So since comedy made the switch from Vine over to TikTok, how do you think it has changed? 
I don't think it, I don't think comedy's changed really. I just think because Vine was obviously only six seconds, um, but then and sixty seconds, and there's lots of different sides to TikTok as well. You've got things like like you no know, dance TikTok. Uh, you've got comedy TikTok. You've got things like like witchcraft TikTok and things like that. So they, like it just appeals to everybody basically. Um, I think that's why it's become so popular, and it's quite new as well. Yeah, yeah, you're right. TikTok's TikTok's still got a big future ahead of it. Um, but you uh, make so many different types of videos, uh, even just simple as meeting Kelly from X Factor the other day, which I was very jealous of. <laughs> um, but back last year, you were making uh, day in the life sort of vlog videos from lockdown. Is there a particular style of video that's most popular for you that people enjoy the most? I think people enjoy the lockdown vlogs the most out of all the videos what I'm in. Um, but I don't really make them as much anymore. I kind of just do like maybe two a week because mm -hmm. uh, I, I wanted to like change it up a bit, not just do uni vlogs every day. Mm. Um, but I started doing more videos for like freshers for next year or videos that I would have wanted. Um, so I did one like at the traffic centre, uh, the Arndale, like the Northern Quarter, Best Bars, things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely. That's definitely something I would have wanted yeah, coming too. to Manchester for sure. So just to round, thing up, round things up, in true Off The Grapevine style, what is your favourite vine? Um, so I was thinking for a bit um, and I realised it was the Jesse Nelson bad-legged vine. <laughs> Uh, we yes. were saying we loved that earlier. <laughs> oh, love that from Jesse Nelson. Oh, but thank you so much for joining us today, Josh. Uh, it's been lovely to hear about your journey so far on TikTok and we wish you all the best for the future of your TikTok career. Yes, yeah, thanks for having me. Brill, thanks, Josh. TikTok has no doubt been taking the world by storm with many young creators like Josh kick-starting their online careers, making comedy, dance and all sorts of content. As we know, before TikTok, there was Vine. Now, we know your favourite TikTok is anything by yours truly, but I want to know what's your favourite Vine? So, my favourite Vine is one that I quote still on the daily and mm. it is one that goes, that is not correct. Because according <laughs> to the encyclopedia of, no, I can't do it <laughs> properly, but that because it is just so quotable and I honestly still use it on a daily basis. Yeah, oh, I love that video. I think we can take a look. That is not correct. Because according to the encyclopedia of... <laughs> I would describe that video as moist. <laughs> yes, definitely. What's your favourite vine? So, my favourite vine is uh, the avocado video of the little boy. It's Christmas, I think. He's unwrapping his presents. And I think his parents have played a little prank on him because they've wrapped up an avocado. And he unwraps it and he's like, oh, wow, an avocado, thanks. It's so cute. And the reason why I love this video is just because I want my children to be like that. Exactly. When I have children, because it's so adorable. Let's have a look. Oh, it's just so cute, <laughs> so wholesome. <laughs> anyway, make sure you get on Twitter using hashtag do it for the vine. Yep, yeah, and tell us what your favourite vine is. We've already had so many of you sending in your predictions on Samantha and Phoenix's cake creations. Sophie from Edinburgh has said, <clears throat> I think Phoenix is going to win. He's got some confidence on him. So let's see how they're getting on. Ready? So we're going to start the timer. Three, two, one, off you go. Oh dear. You're going to slap ice on top just because uh, I don't know how to actually decorate a cake, so. Wait, right. isn't chocolate supposed to, you know, make things look better? Get the whatever it's supposed to be. Oh. Just don't touch the cake or it will all fall apart. Can this be a representation of hell because these pigs look dumb like? It's got an odd shape belly button. I'm gonna come in. I think I can make this one look less evil. This is a fat pig. It's got too many McDonald's. They've got the essence of the photo. That's a producer words for it's shit. That's a bone crack. Oh no. <laughs> it's got freckles on his bum. 
I mean, one looks like it's been run over by a car. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hands away, please. Scratch it down, please. And you've finished. Can you go? What is that? I mean, you're missing a pig. It looks like it's in a car crash. Mine's most... How did you get it all stuck together? Because I'm good. Mine's just slapped on the side. <laughs> So, you've just finished your challenge. Do you think you've done enough to win? Honestly, yeah, because I know I may not have, I may have missed one of the pigs out, but at least my cake actually sticks together. Unlike my contestants. What did you think of the other contestant? He needs to stick to his day job, which clearly isn't bacon. Or cooking for that matter as well. So yeah. In true off the great bond style, would you be able to tell us your favourite meme, please? So clear off the seat because I'm from Liverpool. I'm gonna say the African Grey Chanel one. She's an African Grey and named Chanel. Chanel! So you've just finished your challenge. What is your favourite part of your creation? Well, it's this little piggy here. This one actually doesn't look like he needs medical attention. The rest seem to be in very dire states. You've spoken to your other contestant, you've seen what she's done. How do you think she did? Well, she did a lot better than I did in terms of actually getting it to look decent and presentable and edible. So, I'm not looking up with my chances here. <laughs> in true Off The Great Bond style, would you be able to tell us your favourite meme, please? Look, a classic that um, always comes back to mind is My Name Jeff. My Name is Jeff. Even though it hurts when you say it, it's, it's still there. And that wraps up our competition for this week's episode of Off The Grapevine. I don't know about you, Anna, but when Phoenix dropped that fondant, I thought it was all over. But it's not over until you have the final say by voting in our Twitter poll. Here's a quick look at the finished products. Wow. Take a long, hard look at those cakes and ask yourself, which one would you want a taste of? Yeah, so whilst we wait for your votes, uh, let's take a look at what you guys sent in uh, as we asked for your best jump scares and you definitely delivered. I love that snake one where they put down the belt. That's, I'm gonna saving that one for later. <laughs> right, Anna definitely wasn't wrong. You certainly all delivered there. It's now the time we've all been waiting for to discuss who you all thought delivered on the cake decorating competition. Now, if you've been scrolling on TikTok for the last 10 minutes and you don't know what we're talking about, we held a cake decorating competition and we asked you what you thought was the best looking cake. So here are those cakes. Your votes are in, and you voted for... <laughs> Samantha as your winner of this week's competition. Woo! <laughs> Now, we hope you all enjoyed watching along. And thank you to our contestants in the Cake Decorating Challenge. You all did great. And a massive thank you to Joshua Stewart for taking the time to chat with us. Yes, thanks, Josh. And also a big thank you to all of those who participated in our viewer jump scare challenge. It was a great watch, but you must all be wondering, what's next week's viewer challenge? Well, I've heard on the grapevine that next week's viewer challenge will see you creating the best album covers out of random objects. So make sure to send in your submissions to us by Sunday for a chance to be on the show. It's been a great show tonight. We thank you all for joining us and look forward to seeing you next week. 
I've been Anna. And I've been Toby. And this has been Of The Grapevine. We will see you same time next week. Bye. Bye.